Now to the push for a ceasefire deal in Gaza that would bring some of the hostages home. Secretary of State Blinken says Israel has put forward an extraordinarily generous proposal that Hamas should accept. Foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burge is on the scene in Israel. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, George. Yeah, we're now at what feels like a make or break moment in those ceasefire talks. Secretary of State Blinken urging Hamas to quickly accept a proposed deal. This morning, the first images of U.S. troops off the coast of Gaza, building a floating pier so aid can be shipped in. It comes as negotiations for a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of more hostages reach a critical point. After that Hamas video of American Israeli hostage Keith Siegel, his daughter pleading with the U.S. and Israel to get her dad home. We are not breathing almost seven months. Keith's wife, Aviva, taken hostage with him on October 7, but she was released in November. I'm not there to give him the help. Keith is a human being with a heart and he's sensitive and he belongs to us. He does not belong to the Hamas. Hamas now considering a proposal which would see a 40-day ceasefire and the potential release of thousands of Palestinian prisoners, according to a top British official. The New York Times saying Israel now willing to accept the release of 33 hostages, dropping its previous demand of 40. For people in Gaza, a ceasefire can't come soon enough. The latest Israeli airstrikes killing more than 20, including children, according to a local hospital. The emergency room is very busy and full right now. People are desperate. They want to find their loved ones. They want treatment. They're hurting. They're in pain. Nurse Brenda Maldonado from Washington State, working in Gaza for the past two weeks, telling us what she's seen will stay with her forever. We have patients lying on the ground. Anytime we get mass casualties, which is almost every single day, the patients brought in and placed directly on the floor. And we're treating them a lot of blast injuries, shrapnel injuries, children, older people, not soldiers. I haven't seen a soldier since I've been here. It's basically civilians. And guys, Secretary Blinken expected here in Israel tonight as we wait for Hamas's response to that proposed deal, with Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning threatening to invade Rafah with or without a deal. Robin? Many are watching, as you know, Tom. Thank you.